Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews at Infinity of Nashua. Today we have something pretty rare and pretty cool. It's the 2023 Infinity Q50 Red Sport Black Opal Edition. The biggest, biggest difference with this between the normal Q50 Red Sport is the color black opal metallic. Might not sound familiar. But once you see it, you will recognize it. This is, in fact, a variation of Midnight Purple made famous on the R34 GTR. Not sure how it's going to come across on camera, but depending on where you stand, it's between a dark burgundy, a green, and black. Another big change is blacked out emblems. For the first time ever, you have a black Infinity illuminated emblem you see right here you can see it's definitely green but if I change where I stand now it's purple green purple wheels are the same uh, just taking a walk around this it's a little bit dirty it's just a PDI clean quick wash blacked out emblems carbon fiber rear spoiler so pretty, pretty cool. $2,200 option pack uh, for a sticker price of $63,850. Let's see, not bad at all. What's the paint code? DAP, that's the paint code for black opal. Um, so it's not obviously directly midnight purple, but it's a variation. Right, we only got allocated two of these out of like the 20 Q50 Red Sports. So these are gonna be rare. Um, it, I don't even think you can build these on the website yet. So it's kinda, if you know about them, you know about them. If not, now you do. But the biggest thing is the color. It reminds me very much of Mr. Chrome and obviously Midnight Purple. It's a color shift. It's really, really cool. Powertrain, exact same. 400 horsepower, 350 pound feet of torque, turbo, three liter V6. Um, now, however, this is the same motor that's in the 400Z or the Z. Obviously, you can't get a manual in this one, however, which is a darn shame. Uh, and now, this is the only Infinity you can get this version of the powertrain in because the Q60 is no more. There's no 23 Q60. Uh, so this is the only Red Sport that's left. Which, honestly, after driving both the Q60s, nice, but I personally like the way this one drives better, which is odd to say. The Q60 definitely looks better, but it is what it is. We've all been drooling over this car. We've had one in the showroom for a couple days now. Uh, this one landed, I think, a day after that one did. So we've been ooing and eyeing over this color it's it's definitely an eye catcher for sure and especially out in the daylight it looks phenomenal tell under some heavier braking 
the seven speed's gonna be smart enough to downshift for you, keep you in the peak torque area. Uh, torque on this motor's down low. You don't really have to ring it out, although the power up top is pretty darn good too. It's very linear. Well, not linear, it's very plateau-y. It's strong all the way through the power band. So once you get onto torque, it just pulls. You know, these cars definitely get hated on. Oh, they haven't changed since 2015. True. Uh, okay, I don't care. <laughs> Every year, we do little tweaks, little changes to make the car even better. Now Black Opal, it's like, ooh, color shift color, blacked out badges. So we've improved cosmetics. You know, we've had three year free maintenance on these things now. Every 2023 Infinity comes with three years free maintenance. There is a mileage limit. I don't know it off the top of my head. Shame on me. I want to say it's 30,000, but please don't quote me on that. So these things are getting even more tempting as leases. And you're telling me right there the seven speed isn't good enough for you? Come on. At that point, you're just jumping on the bandwagon and just saying that it isn't good enough because everybody else does. Come on. If that's not good enough, I don't know what is, guys, to be completely honest with you. The transmission's good. It's No, it's not a dual clutch, but it's one of the better torque converters out there. Yeah, it's dated, but it works. Come on, guys. Let's... <laughs> I don't get why people hate on these cars, especially with the performance potential these have in the aftermarket. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.